Morning guys. So this morning I wanted to walk you through one of my famously underrated and I'm, I'm really proud of this project actually. And the project allows you to access your computing device securely through firewalls, through anything. So it's a really useful SSH hack. And I'm going to show you in the context of my Raspberry Pi how to get going. <sighs> okay, so this is what it looks like once it's all set up. On, on my host that's running this uh, sort of concentrator, you have different machines connecting and then I can, I can uh, address it by SSHing pipe.database.com with a special port and that allows me to dial back into my own device. So, how do you set it up? How do you set it up? How do you set it up? Just follow the instructions. Just follow the instructions. I've got a fresh um, new uh, Archnix ARM install here. Let me just go into root, uh, root password. Let's uh, SSH keygen. Oh wait, what is the host name here? Let's set it to something more interesting. Set host name to be, it's in my hallway. I'm gonna just call it hall. So, uh, host name. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Oh, what was I doing? SSH keygen. This might take some time. Okay, so SSH keygen. We're generating a secret and a public key. And then I get the public key to me on my machine. And then I add it to my host. Will this work? Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, Uh, can I get that to to me? Let's see, if, let's see if my forwarding is working. It works. I should have called it something like hall.pub, so I actually know what it is. Um, okay, so now I go to um, where my concentrator is set up. There should be a hall.pub here. Yes, there is. And let me just copy that into temp. Let me just check the permissions there. I'm sure to access that right. So now I need to go into Pi. Home Pi. And inside here is all the keys that are allowed to connect. Right, right, right. Quite a few. Let's call them on hall. And let's read in temp hall the pub. Yeah, okay, now the concentrator allows connections from um, from this new machine called Hall. Uh, now I need to um, copy in this loop service. I think it's as easy as that. Oops. This is such loop. And then copy that into system D. Okay, SSH loop. Oh. Yeah, that looks right. Let me just run it. Just um, root. Oh, I probably need to CH mod, don't I? Um, root. SSH loop. So let me just quickly show you the script. All it does is just dials into my host. Okay, now this should have be isolated from my port forwarding. This is going to work. This is so. There it is. That's my computer. Yahoo! So um, yeah, I, um, it now I can be from like connect from anywhere, and and my my Raspberry Pi will be accessible if I just get that port. All right. So that's it. That is the concentrator service. It is awesome. You should use it. 
Hey guys, I, I almost forget a, forgot a very, very important step. And that is to remove uh, password authentication. Uh, da, da, da. You do not want to use, this should be the default. I don't know why it's not the default. It, ooh, sorry, you can't see what I'm typing. Password authentication, no. And then, um, hmm. Just wanna set up my, ooh, my key. <laughs> you get uh, uh, curl HTTP okay dot fair hundred dot pub auth authorized keys six hundred is probably gonna moan otherwise. Uh, and then what else do I need to do? Last but not least restart SSH okay now it should be secure secure is good okay now this is me connecting to my uh, hall on port 10,000 right 10,000 and I'm on 4G here so I'm outside my network ooh it's asking me to accept something and then it failed. Um, sorry. Acting his alarm. Whoops. Alarm. And boom, I'm in. I'm in. Look at that, I'm in. Over 4G. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.